I'm doing this video. I got the camera on my face. I'm trying to keep my face down like this because I have this. My nose was fucking bashed and broken inside. Uh, I had a little altercation and my nose is fucking bashed and shit. So it happened a week ago, but I was still all fucked up. You know, and he had a fucking quarter rise inside of it. I had fucking a thing stuck up there so to keep my nose from fucking caving in and everything. You know, shit happens. You know what I mean? I'm used to this shit. But anyway, so it's hard for me to talk a little bit. I'm a little fucked up, you know. This was the last. I'm doing this video last minute because of this. You know what I mean? It's all fuckers. It's all in here. It's all this side. It's both sides are fucked. You know, my nose is fucking broken. But both sides are fucked up. You know what I mean? But this side was really bad. You know, they had a fucking. So if you see, I'm doing a video a little bit funny. If I look a little funny in a video, if, you know, my motions are. A little off, it's because of that, okay? It's been a week, so it's healed. When I first had a fucking nose like this, okay? Which is already a big fucking guinea nose. But well, right here, all around here is all fucking... I mean, they had to cauterize it three times already. I've been back and forth in the hospital and everything. So, I'm all right now, but, you know, I know you're real fucking concerned. Yeah, you momos. I love you, too. So, let's get busy. <laughs> In a world full of expectations, where time is of great concern, humanity will search for answers, and one man will find the power. Yo, who's a loser now? You are. Whoa! This week I'm going to talk about like what I feel that social media in bodybuilding a little bit crossover with insulin, okay? Because I believe that a lot of the shit you guys are watching today, uh, I watched a pro fucking bodybuilder, two pro bodybuilders were shopping. I'm going to get into a rant in a minute about that. This is about how you, the average Momo out there, watches these fucking guys and what they do, okay? Uh, you know, and... and, and it makes you think that you could do what they do, all right? And a lot of you guys know about insulin, and to be honest with you, in my opinion, insulin doesn't really make muscle bigger. It makes muscle swell, but it's not like the minute you go off that, it goes right back down, okay? And it does fuck up your organs, and it could make you uh, insulin dependent, but... You know, I used to watch Rich Pian in the morning sometimes, you know, I'd watch his videos, and I love Rich. God rest his soul, he was a good man, okay? But when he used to make those shakes, and he would not put any protein in, he'd put in like Fruity Pebbles or whatever, the Cocoa Pebbles and all this other shit, and he'd blend all that shit up. What you guys don't realize is that shit's, you know, you can't do that, all right? Now, I just saw these two pro momos that were, you know, they were shopping. They're two very popular uh, pro bodybuilders. And they were shopping together and everything. And they're buying all this junk food and shit like that. And it makes guys feel like, oh, shit, you know. Well, they're taking that. I could eat that, okay. And I, 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 what you don't realize is it's deceptive. When you watch these guys do what they're doing on the internet, okay, it's deceptive. So that's why this is kind of a, cro this video is kind of a crossover of, 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 of social media also destroying, like, true bodybuilding, in, in my opinion, through a lot of guys watching the diet, okay? And they watch these guys do, it takes, they eat foods that you couldn't eat, all right? And it, the hidden thing is, it's just like I did a video with Jay Cutler, how he used to eat a lot of uh, candy corns and stuff like that. But, dude, you, you take an insulin. The average guy can't eat candy corn. Okay, it's not good. First, first of all, no natural bodybuilder is going to be able to eat any of that. Social media is causing deception. Okay, and it's also what you guys don't see is that these guys are doing insulin. You can't all let it fit, fit your macros, and you see these guys eating massive amounts of sugar and carbs and even junk food and all this shit. They're taking insulin. Okay, I would never take insulin. You're, you're out of your fucking mind doing that shit. Okay. This video was spawned off by a kid that I uh, I ran into in a store, okay, that's a friend of actually a son, uh, a son of a friend of mine, and he's a young kid, he's like 17 years old, and he's telling me that he's taking, you know, 
he's eating all this like fucking sugar shit and, and, and eating a lot of junk and he you know and he's eating and he's taking insulin and I'm like holy fuck where did you fucking get the idea for that shit and he's watching the YouTube videos that's what he told me got it off of YouTube so this video here is going to be about the deception of watching you know these these guys on YouTube and thinking that what you what they do is right for you okay and it's also spawned off a lot of the average guy these kids that do know about insulin and do see that these guys take insulin they're eating junk and taking insulin and I think that that's fucking wrong and I think that that's making bodybuilding head in the wrong way insulin is fucked up drug bro you should not be doing it you can make yourself a diabetic Okay, it's very dangerous. You could put. I've had two friends die from insulin, from insulin usage. Two because they they took insulin and they didn't get sugar in them enough. They didn't get you know they took a high dose of insulin and they didn't get enough sugar in them fast enough. They went into insulin comas and both are dead. Both. Okay. So if you want to fuck around with that, I told this kid you're gonna fuck and your plane will fire. But when you see these guys on the internet. You know, and these two momos I just watched on the internet, these two pro, you, you, you know, pro bodybuilders shopping, and the YouTube video themselves, and you see them in there, and they're fucking shopping, and they're getting junk food and shit, and they're, you know, doing all that shit. Bro, it's trouble. I'm just telling you, it sends a bad message, because A, some people don't realize that, that they're taking insulin, that's why they, they get away with eating fucking chocolate and Hershey Kisses and all that shit. And the other momos that do know about that shit are saying, oh, fuck, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to eat all this junk and take sugar and all this crap and then just take insulin. Fucking bad, bro. It's bad. The physiques today are ugly because of it. The guts are huge because of it. And it's, it's, it's fucking a lot of people up. And like Dorian Yates said, when you go off of it, you're going to lose everything. And he is right. I don't agree with Dorian on a lot of things. We've had a few disagreements, him and I. But he is right about that. So when you watch these guys on YouTube, they're, they're all sending a bad fucking message. Especially with that shit. Alright, check out this rant. Alright, so, you know, I've been watching some YouTube videos. Just saw a famous, you know, guy, he's a pro bodybuilder, walking around in a grocery store with another pro bodybuilder. They were in a Trader Joe somewhere. And they were buying garbage food, pancakes, some waffles, you know, frozen, and, uh, you know, all kinds of shit. Hold on, sorry, man. I, I was eating fucking, I was, just, I was just in Mrs. Green's eating from fucking nuts and shit, you know. Now I'm spitting fucking for the past half hour, like, you know, spitting out a little grit and shit, you know. Anyway, so, you know. But I did the fucking, the, the Latin thing, you know, because my girlfriend's Latin, you know, they know how they are. They go, you take a fucking shop and, and she's all, you know, walks through the fucking aisles, opening up bags, eating the food and shit like that. Trying, you know, eating the grapes and fucking, you know, I don't eat that shit, but she's eating grapes and shit, you know. But anyway, that's what happens when you date Latin chicks, you know. You know, they shop and they eat while the fuck is shopping. But, um, and anyway. So I'm watching these guys shop, you know, and I'm thinking to myself, holy fuck, how many young kids are watching this shit, thinking, look, he eats waffles, or, you know, he eats fucking uh, 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 pancakes, they'll buy cookies and shit, you know what I mean, all kinds of shit, that Nutella garbage, all that stuff, you know, and I'm sitting there thinking, holy fuck, what bullshit is that, see, because to me, that shit sends a message, to the younger guys, right? That means that young guys think, like, you know, young amateur doesn't know what he's doing. They think, like, well, that's what they eat. You know, because that is. You see these guys buying that shit, right? What they don't realize is that's because these guys are on fucking insulin, right? They're taking massive amounts of insulin. That's why they can sit there and eat those fucking, you know, a whole bag of waffles or eat all the fucking sugary shit that they were buying. They were buying garbage, absolute garbage food. 
And you know what the fucking craziest thing is? This fucking Pro Momo is over there buying like organic shit. Like, oh no, this is organic chicken. You want free range organic chicken. That's what he's saying to the camera. Meanwhile, he's over there buying fucking chocolate syrup to put on shit. He's buying pancakes. He's buying waffles, French toast, and shit like that. He's buying cake and all. I mean, come on. I mean, how fucking stupid is that? It's like eating a fucking big pizza and then having a Diet Coke. What's the point? Anyway, I say organic this. Bafongu with your organic shit. Fuck all that shit. Free range chicken and shit like that. And then you're over there eating fucking getting like ice cream and fucking pop tarts and all this other bullshit. And you're gonna fucking, you're gonna make people fucking believe that you can eat that way. You fucking momo. You fucking disgusting momo. Walk around and fucking, you know, walk around in a grocery store and shit with tank top on. You know, everybody's looking at you, you fucking juice head. Get the fuck out of here. That's an embarrassment. Dude, you cannot eat like they eat. All right, that's if you're a YouTube follower, if you're a subscriber, you should you should look at those kind of guys and fucking be pissed that they're telling you that shit because it's wrong. Part of what I'm trying to tell you is you can't believe the shit that these guys are spewing on the internet here. This fucking YouTube is full of fucking people I see like oh my god man they're, they're fucking these guys these bodybuilding videos and shit you got more fucking you know momos fucking on here talking about the most ridiculous shit and and, and they're 90% of them they're not training right alright they eat like shit and it's all because they're all on drugs guys fucking telling you to eat like 30 meals a day and shit dude you can't eat like that if you're a natural bodybuilder okay if you're a teenager watching this shit, or a natural bodybuilder, you can't eat like that. I'm just telling you, you can't eat like that. You can't go and have the kind of foods these idiots are eating. Pop-tarts and all. Dude, that's because they're taking insulin. And when you take insulin, you need sugar. Or you'll go into a diabetic coma. You understand? So they can get away with eating junk. I mean, you know... They were sitting there eating fucking, they were buying chocolate shit, I, I can't remember, like, you know, chocolate shit, bags of uh, stuff with chocolate. And I'm going, the, the one guy, he's buying chocolate syrup, Hershey's chocolate syrup, and I'm sitting there thinking to myself, holy fuck, this guy's buying fucking, this guy's eating chocolate syrup? And you, you're actually, you're actually like, like, touting that shit on fucking YouTube, making people think that that's okay to have? Because you're so fucking insulined out. You're on so much fucking... Dude, I'm sorry. I'm spitting over here. It, it's fucking... I can't stop. I ate them fucking cashews and shit, you know? They're spitting and fucking flying all over the place. Anyway, so f f ignore it. If you see shit flying, just ignore it. But anyway, you know, these fucking guys, man. You, I'm, I, you can't go by these internet guys. You cannot go by these guys. How some of these guys have the amount of fucking followers, subscriptions. These guys were 400,000. I'm sitting there going, are you fucking in? These are momos, bro. Momos. Now, some of you people are only internet YouTube fans and, and, and enthusiasts or whatever, however you want to call them, okay? You don't realize, you know, because I have guys attacking me. Dude, what do you know? you never been, you know, you don't know nothing. You're Mr. Sinton. Nice try, fucko. Let me explain something to you. I've been in this industry since 1972. Okay? I trained in the same gym as Arnold. I'm undefeated as a natural bodybuilder. There ain't nobody who could beat me in my class. Alright? I've been in the sport. I've been writing for the magazine. I started promoting shows for the NPC in 1985 when it first came out. I was there before Steve Weinberger. When Call Campania ran the NPC in New York. Nobody lasted at muscular development. Only John Romano was there longer than me. It was there 14 years. Are you going to sit here and act like, who the fuck do you know? You don't know these guys. Dude, I know these fucking guys. You crazy? I know all this shit. I've been on the inside. I'm on the inside inside. So don't fucking question me. And I'm just telling you, these other fucking momos... You got these guys walking around, videotaping themselves, acting like idiots, you know? You know? I, I don't know. I, I don't get it. I'm just saying, I, you know, you cannot listen to these guys when you watch their shopping sprees on fucking line. I watch these bodybuilders shop. 
Alright? I just, you know, I fucking stumbled upon it and I was like, holy fuck. If somebody's watching this, if a young kid, if I was still young, and I was like looking for information, and I was trying to watch, like, well, what do these guys eat? And I'm watching them shop, and I'm watching what they're eating. I would have fucking made the same mistake. Well, you know, Joe Matarazzi eats, uh, you know, Pop-Tarts. I'm going to eat that shit. You know, he's putting chocolate syrup on his pancakes, and that must mean it's good. Because look at him. He's ripped. He's jacked. So if he does that, I should do that. No, dude, don't do that shit. All right? Remember what you're watching. Guys, you have to eat clean. Let me just tell you one thing. All right? If, if I got two of you, you people watching this, you guys... If I cloned you, and now there's you number one, and you number two, right? And I said, you number one, I'm just going to put you on a diet, really strict diet. No carbs, but a really good ketogenic diet. Lots of protein, good quality protein, meats and shit like that. None of that vegan shit, okay? Good, some green vegetables, that kind of stuff, right? No carbs, though. Once in a while, maybe oatmeal or white rice. And then I put the other you, you number two, but the, you number one doesn't lift weights. No weight training at all. You number one, no weight training at all. You number two, you train, you know, you number two, train with weights like a motherfucker. All day in the gym, bust your ass, heavy weights, you know, drinking pre-workout drinks and all that shit, post-workout drinks, but you eat like shit. Do you number one will probably get better gains than you number two. Forget about the weightlifting. Weightlifting is this much of it. Nutrition, the food you eat, is everything. So when you watch these fuckos shopping, these pro fucking bodybuilders, these, these fucking guys, they're over there fucking shopping and they're buying foods and shit. What you're not understanding is that they are taking massive amounts of drugs. You're not. You don't have it like that. They do. All right? They're on massive amounts of drugs. Okay? So you can't eat like they eat. You can't train like they can. You're seeing guys take 100-pound dumbbells doing front raises with them. Yeah, that's great. You try that, your fucking deltoid will rip off. They're on shit, bro. Let them go off that shit. Watch what they look like. Watch what they look like. So stop emulating these guys on YouTube and watch some of them fucking momos. I'm not going to say who they are. But the bottom line of what I'm trying to tell you is these guys are all on drugs. You cannot do what they do. You cannot train the way they train. You cannot eat the way they eat. You cannot eat the amount of food that they eat or the types of food they eat. Especially all that sugar. They eat, they're shopping for junk. I know, bro. I've been around. I know. I'm trying to help you. When I see these videos, it angers me. I watch these videos and it fucking angers me. It angers me because I think of myself. I think of myself if I was a young kid again and I was watching that. I'd be deceived because here's this big fucking Joe Pro bodybuilder, this big fucko walking through the grocery store. And of course, he's got it tanked up on, and he's with another bodybuilder who's got it tanked up on. And he'll walk around, and he's got shorts on and slippers, and he's walking around like this all stiff and shit. And he's buying fucking gaboche. You know what I mean? He's buying gaboche and food. So that's fucked up. That's deceptive. He fucking probably went home and took a shot of insulin after fucking that shopping spree. Just watching him, alright? I, I, my sugar went up. I'm just telling you. I'm trying to help you. Watch your diet. If you're not on steroids, if you're a young kid especially, eat a lot of protein. Don't rely on protein shakes for your protein. Eat good foods. You know what protein is. I don't have to tell you. You're not that stupid. Alright? I'm just trying to help you. Alright, look, fucking forget about it. Stop fucking around. Stop listening to these YouTube guys. I've been bodybuilding before most of these pro bodybuilders were even alive. So what I'm saying is, I'm watching and I'm listening to the fucking advice. Even from some of these guys that are like, got 600,000 followers and shit. And they're, they're giving advice and I'm like, dude. You, you don't even know what the fuck you're talking about. Look at that. You're doing it wrong. You know, half reps. Get the fuck out of here.
So now I'm saying, I'm thinking, because everybody's an expert, you guys are getting polluted advice. I mean, what is bro science? What the fuck is bro science? That's, to me, that's, that's mo science, momo science. No such thing as bro science. What is that shit? Well, it's, it fits your macros, right? Oh, you know, all these people preaching this shit, this garbage, it fits your macros. Let me tell you something about if it fits your macros. You could have two food sources that have the same amount of calories, the same amount of carbs, the same amount of sugars, the same amount of protein, but they, they fucking don't affect your body the same way because they, they, get, they get fucking digested at different rates. You can't, con it, it, it fits your macros, is bullshit. I don't know any pro bodybuilder, any pro bodybuilder that does that shit, especially going for a show. I don't know one, okay? None of them. And those guys are taking so much fucking drugs, you can eat a fucking, you, you can eat a fucking pizza pie and, and still burn fat, but they still don't eat that shit, okay? Why are they still eating fucking fish, white rice, fucking asparagus? Who the fuck wants to eat that shit, right? Why are they eating? Why aren't they just having, you know, why don't they just fit your macros, you know? Because it doesn't work. It's bullshit. Do you know, Jerry Ward and I were talking. And, uh, you know, this is true. He was even telling me how Kevin Lebron one time got mad at him. He was going for a show and he was saying, hey, what are you doing? Because Jerry was using, like, fucking equals or splendors or some shit. And he's like, you can't use that shit. But it's got no calories in it. Come on, it's calorie. It doesn't matter. The way it affects your body, it's going to make you hold water retention, blah, 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 blah. And son of a bitch, Jerry even told me, Greg, he was right. He was right. It's true. Okay? That's why it fits your macros don't work. But you guys watch these fucking guys on YouTube. You watch these fucking experts. And I, I, I honestly think that social media has destroyed the fabric of bodybuilding. Alright? You, there's nothing like experience, guys. Would you want a heart surgeon fucking operating on you, okay, that just got out of fucking, you know, hey, I just graduated Harvard with honors, you know, I, or would you rather, you know, you, would you rather have him put a new heart in your body, or would you have some guy that's, that's done it for a thousand different patients, all kinds of experience, he knows, I don't know about you, but I'd rather have the experienced fucking doctor, okay, what I'm trying to tell you guys is, Everybody thinks they got the blueprint. Everybody today is a prep coach. Everybody's an IPB pro. I'm a figure pro. I'm a bikini pro. You know, everybody fucking thinks they know. Everybody's a fucking, uh, you know, uh, uh, on YouTube now. Uh, even fucking girls are on here, you know. I'm a bikini pro and I do, you know, I'm doing prep and stuff. And, you know, oh my God, you know, it fits your macros. Works. Yeah, girls love that shit. Because it gives you a fucking excuse, bro. It gives you an excuse to fucking eat bullshit. And bikini girls don't get fucking ripped anyway. They're not trying to strike it hard. Look, guys, the point I'm trying to fucking make to you is, who do you listen to? Who's right? Who the fuck is right? I mean, it's so fucking watered down right now, it's really fucking disgusting. I'm telling you right now. You know, another thing, you, you ever watch it, you, every time I put a fucking YouTube video, I got that fucking Momo, that fucking guy that makes me he's an old man, you know what I mean, with the six pack, I, whatever the fuck that is, that, you know, I, you know, you over 40, you know what I mean, that fucking Momo, bro, I'm fucking like four years older than him. I'm 57 years old and I look a lot better than that fucking guy. You know what I mean, and he's on fucking juice, so what the fuck, you know, you don't tell people that shit, you know. Give me a fucking break. I can't stand watching these guys. Everybody's a fucking expert. Everybody's a fucking expert. What the fuck is bro science? That's Momo science, bro. I, I mean, same thing. You get these vegans, right? Oh, the vegan. Vegan bodybuilding. I'm not just talking about that fucking Momo vegan gains, okay? Forget about him. He's a fucking, Look at him. He's a fucking bean pole. You know, you fucking stick a tomato and plant next to him and it'll fucking grow up the side of him. I'm just telling you, bro. He's a fucking... But forget him. I'm just talking about vegan in general. You know, listen, I get the whole fucking, you know, not eat the meat thing. If that's your fucking thing, that's your fucking thing. But I don't give a shit if quinoa, whatever, however you say that shit, you know, you know, has fucking pure protein in it. You know, like all the amino acids and all that. Nobody gets jacked eating that shit, okay? I'm just telling you, you know, 
You listen to these fucking people on the internet. They'll give you a million fucking reasons and all their shit. Everybody's a fucking expert. Everybody with a fucking video camera is a fucking expert. I mean, holy motherfucker. All right. I'm going to give you a quick story. All right. We're going to go to a story right now. It's a story I've told before, okay? So if some of you guys are bothered because I'm, I'm redoing the same stories, relax. I'm going to give you some other ones, but right now I'm waiting because Generation Iron's coming out with uh, my story time. There's a, a lot of other things, and I haven't, I don't want to release any of my new stories just yet. So this story you've all seen before, but it's a crazy story. People like my stories. If you don't like it, turn off the fucking video. What can I tell you? Stop being a fucking momoto about it. I'm fucking complaining. But this is a fucking crazy story. I think you're going to like this one. So check it out. Here comes a fucking story just for you guys. All right, so quick story, by the way. It's not really a story, but I'll give it to you anyway. When I was, uh, I'm not, I don't really like people spotting me, you know what I mean? If people, when I don't like spotting people as well. Back in Gold's Gym, I had Ray Menser spot me a few times and you know back then it was 1981 and you would have like little shorts on you know but the shorts were high they weren't like they are today like basketball shorts which are low and um he would you know stand above me and spot me on the bench and I was a really good bencher man I, I was a very good bencher back then I won a few bench shows I'll stick, a tr stick my uh, trophy thing in here. I'll show you a little thing, you know. But anyway, so I'm I'm laying on a bench, and he used to spot me, and I could always, when I would look up, I would see his balls all the time, right? Because he wasn't wearing underwear, and there was like a gap like this between his leg and, you know, the shorts. You know, and these little yellow shorts. He used to wear them all the time. Yellow, red, you know, and... I remember I'd be looking up to do the bench, and I'd see these big hairy nuts through the fucking thing. And you know, he had that black hair, so it was very evident, you know. And I try not to look at it, and you know, because it would bother me. And I really didn't want him spotting me because of that. At one time, a little tiny little fucking hair, as I was in the middle of a set, you know, he you know he moved a little bit, and a little hair. I actually saw it fall, and it landed right on my chin. Right on my fucking chin. And I was like trying to fight the bench. And I'm like, oh, like this. And I could feel it on there. And when I put the bar up, I was like, motherfucker. And he said to me, what's, you know, what happened? And I said, I got a little fucking, your fucking pubic hair. Because you don't wear underwear. Because you didn't wear underwear. It fucking landed right on my fucking chin. And he didn't believe me. But you know what? It was actually stuck there right? until he looked real close, you know. It was stuck there because I was sweaty and sticky, and my I guess my skin was tacky, and a fucking I had a fucking black pubic hair right there, dude. It, it it fucking freaked me out. So the bottom line is, I don't like people spotting me, especially you know even on the bench, bro. I'd rather get two guys on each side if I was gonna go like crazy heavy, you know, and, which I don't do anymore. So we don't have to worry about that. And the other thing is. I can't stand spotting guys on a bench press. I really don't like that because, you know, they blow breath up in your face. <sighs> you know, a guy be on there that go, <sighs> like this, and I'm going, oh, motherfucker. Oh, you know, like you had a shit sandwich or something. You know what I mean? What the fuck? You know what I mean? What the fuck, man? You know, or, or like, you know, like salami's coming up. You know what I mean? And I'm like, dude, that's, that's horrible. You know, chew fucking gum, something. But I didn't like that, because they actually blow, you know, back when I was younger, I had, you know, I had long hair and shit. And my hair would actually flip, you know what I mean, because I could, because a guy would be on there, you know. So, I don't really like spotters. And I don't like spotting people, and I don't like people spotting me. No big story, but I just figured, I got a lot of Gold's Gym stories. We're going to get into Gold's Gym stories and other stories and everything like that. You know, good shit. You know, and just to figure a little something about why, one of the reasons why I don't like spotters. I don't like guys blowing breath in my face. And I don't like fucking guys standing over me, especially if they're not wearing underwear and free balling it. Now today is different, I guess, because of the thing. But again, I don't bench press anymore, so that shit ain't happening. All right, guys, be good to your girl. Stop fucking around. You're a bunch of momos, but you know I fucking love you momos, okay? Don't be a fucko.
subscribe. You can also go to my uh, thing, Greg Valentino, on YouTube. Stop fucking around! To the gym with Greg Valentino I'm going to the club with Greg Valentino You got the biggest arms Greg Valentino Said Greg Valentino Greg Valentino Greg Valentino, 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 Greg